Dear sisters and brothers, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable works. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church the beginning of the celebration of the Lord's Paschal Mystery, that is to say, of his passion and resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered into his own city of Jerusalem. commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace, and in his life. And so we invite you to rise and hold your palms up high. Sanctify these branches with your blessing. Reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever. It's like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem. Let us continue our liturgy. as we listen to the reading of the Gospel of Luke. The Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus proceeded on his journey. At the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples a colt tethered on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. Has need of it. 
So those who had been sent off and found everything just as he told them. And as they were untying the cold, the master has need of it. So they brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks over the colt, and held it on the road. And now as he was approaching the slope of the Mount of Olives, the whole deeds that they had seen, they proclaimed, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. He said in reply, I tell you, if they keep silent, the stones will cry. Verses 1 through 4. Almighty, ever-living Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection. Let us all be seated once again to be nourished by God's Word.
The book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary a word that will rouse them. And I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me. My shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set the word of the Lord.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading of the Passion according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the hour came, Jesus took his place at table with the apostles. He said to them, I have eagerly destined, desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall not eat it again until there is fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, and said, Take this and share it among yourselves. For I tell you that from this time on I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Then he took the bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which will be given for you. Do this in memory of me. And likewise the cup, after they had eaten, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which will be shed for you. And yet behold, the hand of the one who is to betray me is with me on the table. 
For the Son of Man indeed goes as it has been determined, but woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. such a deed. Then an argument broke out among them about which one of them should be regarded as the greatest. In authority over them are addressed as benefactors, but among you it shall not be so. As the servant for who is greater, the one who is seated at table I am among you as the one who serves. It is you who have stood by me in my Father has conferred one on me, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And you will sit on thrones, behold, Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat, but I have prayed that your own faith may not fail. And said to him, "Lord, I am prepared to go to prison and to die with you." But he replied, Deny three times that you know me. He said to them, When I sent you forth without a money bag, they replied, He said to them, But now one who has a money bag should take it, and likewise a sack. must be fulfilled in me namely he was counted among the wicked and indeed what but he replied it is enough into your kingdom Jesus remember me um. then going out he went as was his custom to the Mount of Olives Pray that you may not undergo the test. After it withdrawing about a stone's throw, take this cup away from me. Still, not my will, but yours be done. And to strengthen him, so fervently that his sweat became like drops of blood falling on the ground. He said to them, Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not undergo was one of the twelve a man named Judas. He went up to Jesus to kiss him. Jesus said to him, His disciples realized what was about to happen, and they asked, But Jesus said in reply, Stop, no more of this. And temple guards and elders who had come for him, Have you come out 
as against a robber with swords and clubs, day after Hour, the time for the power of darkness. Remember me when you come into your kingdom. When you come into your kingdom. and took him into the house of the high priest. Peter and Peter sat down with them. When a maid saw him seated in the light, she looked intently at him and said, Woman, I do not know him. A short while later, someone else saw him and said, An hour later, still another insisted. Sure, yeah. I don't know what you are talking about. Just as he was saying this, the cock crowed. Him before the cock crows today. You will deny me three times. Ridiculing and beating him, they blindfolded him and questioned him, saying, the other things against him. One day came, and the council of elders of the They said, but he replied to them, if I tell you, but from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all say that I am. Then he said, They brought charges against him, saying, King of the Jews, he said to him in reply, You say so. Pilate then addressed the chief priests and the crowds, I find this man not guilty. On hearing this, Pilate asked if the man was a Galilean. Who was in Jerusalem at that time. Herod was very glad to see Jesus. He had been wanting to see him for a long time, for he had heard question him at length, but he gave him no answer. The chief priests and the scribes treated him contemptuously and mocked him, and after clothing him in resplendent garb, he sent him though they had been enemies formerly. Pilate then summoned the chief priests. and accuse him of inciting the people to revolt. I have conducted my investigation in your presence. The 
nor did Herod, for he sent him back to us. So no capital crime has been committed by him. Therefore, And for murder. Again, Pilate addressed them, still wishing to release Jesus. Pilate addressed them a third time. What evil has this man done? I find him guilty of no capital crime. Therefore, I shall have him flogged. And their voices prevailed. <clears throat> the verdict of Pilate was that their demand should be granted. So he released the man who had Jesus over to them to deal with as they wished. When you come into your kingdom, come into your kingdom. Cyrian, who was coming in from the country, and after laying the cross on him, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Selves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed At that time people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us and to the What will happen when it is dry? Now to others. Called the skull, they crucified him, and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. They know not what they do. They divided his garments by casting lots. The people stood by and watched. The Even <laughs> above him. There was an inscription. Those hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not? Rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same kind. corresponds to our crimes, but this man when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, it was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. middle, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, and when he had said this, he breathed his last.
The centurion who witnessed what had happened glorified God and said, This man was innocent beyond doubt. They returned home, breathing, beating their breasts, but all of his acquaintances stood at a distance, including the woman who had followed him from Galilee and saw these events. Though he was a member of the council, had not consented to their plan of action. He came from the Jewish town of Arimathea and was awaiting the kingdom of God. He went to Pilate. he wrapped it in a linen cloth and laid him in a rock-hewn tomb in which no one had yet been buried. It was the day of preparation and the behind and when they had seen the tomb and the way in which the body was laid in it, they returned and prepared spices and according to the commandment. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to What one my soul what wondrous love is it what wondrous love Bear the dreadful curse to bear the dreadful curse what wondrous love is this
in one God, the Father, the Almighty. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, light, true God from true God, begotten not made. Men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day. In the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who at the church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. To you, glorious God, your daughters and sons, turn once more. We know that humble prayers. For France. understanding of the passion and death of our Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace. And find peace through forgiveness and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. And for all our brothers and sisters throughout the world, that the suffering and death of our Lord Jesus Christ may lead us hear our prayer for the elect, and especially for Marshall Harris, preparing to be received into full communion with the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in Ukraine and all warring nations, may they find peace. May they know hope and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here And so be drawn more deeply into the saving mystery. Yeah. For all the faithful departed, for our deceased relatives, in particular for Monica Geigel and David Koenig. Loving God, your sons and daughters turn. You are the way. Life that we truly might find in you all our hope, all our. As our sacred altar table is closed and prepared once more.
Let us rise and pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that, though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins, and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we sing. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's very beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray, upon your people's offerings. And pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and the blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we were once lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love for your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross, but before his arms were outstretched, between the heavens and the earth to become that lasting sign of your covenant. Why, he desired to celebrate Passover once more with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Lord, 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead, and looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, our faithful and merciful God, the sacrificial victim who reconciles the human race to you. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by this sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we partake of this one bread and one chalice, we may be gathered into one body in Christ who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis our Pope and David our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until that hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the halls of the heavens, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and with all the saints, and yes, with our departed brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy and then, freed at last from every wound and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of the Christ who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us all rise, for it is at the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching that we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. And let us offer each other a sign of the Lord's peace.
we behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those now called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christine, take our Lord and Savior to those that you serve, that you may bring the joy of the passion of Jesus Christ to them and help them to realize that they too will rise on the last day. Thank you for your ministry. Please join in the communion hymn, We Remember, number three.
Before we close, uh, just a few notes uh, for you. Um, um, Holy Saturday, uh, I'm just looking for those here at St. Thomas or whoever would like uh, liturgies in the Triduum. So there are places to sign up. He would call. for the weekend. There are some spots that are filled, but it would be wonderful to be able to have them all filled before. So if, we, if you would, our Mass server, consider that. It's really great. The Easter Vigil, especially to uh, serve for the Easter time of your life. <laughs> I wasn't going to say how long, but I'm not going to say how long. If you're laughing, you know. Here and band here um, so very much. So thank you for your ministry. Thomas the Apostle have a school. I always say yes with all my heart. In fact, we have two schools, Divine Savior and Roncalli Catholic Schools. wondrous love is this what wondrous love is this and so thank you for incarnating the on your way uh, I think you're heading out tonight am I right <laughs> no there's faith <laughs> Um, I think that's a beautiful gift. You are. Okay. So please know that. One final thing, if you would allow me. Oh, sure. Absolutely. One final thing, if you would allow me. who would sit with me at the step just for a moment. And to our guests, to our guests here, this is... Together. So people can sit with you. That's really important. There's always a place. You know what your teacher's like when they, or your mom, right, when they got a review? Ah, it's Holy Week. Today's Palm Sunday. And then there's Holy Thursday. In the pool, the baptismal font, and they die and rise with Jesus. And so Holy Thursday... Lent, <laughs> what can I say after that? Yeah. 
And at the, at the supper of the Lord, we start with the sign of the cross. And we don't say the mass. One day, three. One day outside of time. Isn't that beautiful? One day, a whole, you're like. dies on the cross and he rises from the dead how beautiful is that all together one day from sundown church and Jesus did all this for us that's why you are loved so very much She said, Jesus, that's pretty special. Don't forget, you are special kids. You and that's so important, okay? So never forget that. Adults, did you notice that they're never always too quick? say anything about vocations I do right with my heart like this I do so of you tonight and that's pretty special all the way over here but that's okay I was their age once too That's for you. It's not homework. It's just something to know about you. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us this your family for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross who lives and reigns forever and the chili sale I forgot if you need supper tonight it's there the Lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty God bless us find the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please join us in our final hymn, Were You There?